We mentioned above that our involvement with the awesome and peculiar game of golf is very much like an ongoing project. If we're genuinely going to improve at the game, it's because we're discovering new things about the game that keep us excited about and motivated in terms of how it is that we're genuinely going to improve the way we play. This is what the R3 approach is all about. It's all about genuinely improving at the game. In order to do this, we have to have facts and realities about this awesome and peculiar game. Whatever skill level it is that we currently possess at playing the game, we've achieved it because of our experience with and exposure to the game. From beginner to professional tournament level, our genuine improvement is going to be based upon how we continue to direct our thoughts and actions towards playing the game. This is again is what the R3 approach is all about. Our path to improvement is laid out by the six components of the R3 approach. The first three components actually have to do with our thoughts in terms of how it is that we'll be directing our thoughts and actions. And then the final three components of the approach really have more to do with the actions that we take in terms of playing and improving at the game. In terms of those facts and realities about genuinely improving at the game, and by the way, in the R3 approach, we do stress the words genuinely improving. Because if we're genuinely improving, we're getting that long-term lasting improvement that truly sticks with us over the days, weeks, months, and years that we'll be playing the game. Well, the first fact to recognize is if we're genuinely improving, what's happening is that we're actually raising our mindfulness as a golfer, which is the perspective number one objective in the R3 approach. Well, if we're truly raising our mindfulness as a golfer, it's going to be a direct result of the continued experience with and exposure to the game that we're getting, as we'll see in the R3 approach. As our experience with and exposure to the game continues, we'll come to understand what it means to have a mechanically sound swing action. We have to have a mechanically sound swing action in order to be able to hit solid golf shots once we're on, out on the golf course. Then we'll do what we refer to as moving down the what axis in terms of what it is that we're directing our thoughts and actions towards, and we'll come to understand what it means to have a mechanically sound, physically athletic golf swing motion. In other words, we'll understand how our body supports the movements of the club from that mechanical perspective. Then we'll do what we refer to as crossing the bridge We'll now cross the bridge over to the, ta to the how axis, which is the tactical perspective, and we'll begin to tactically take what we've got and have it work better for us once we're on the golf course. The process of becoming a better tactician is what completes the process and genuinely gets us to the point where we are, in fact, playing better golf. In the R3 approach, we point out the fact that it's the blending of these four perspectives together into one fluidly operating process that is our primary goal in terms of genuinely improving at the game. In the R3 approach, we actually begin the whole process with an overall strategy. It's a mission statement of sorts. We indicate that genuinely improving will happen if we do in fact follow the overall strategy, and that is to continue the en enjoying the process of doing good work, developing our games to the point where they can be seen and felt, which is a consciousness, seen and felt to be mechanically sound, physically athletic and tactically fluid processes for playing the game. The six videos below introduce the six components of the R3 approach. Again, the first three components really have to do with thoughts in terms of beginning with the end in mind as to how we're going to be directing our thoughts and actions. And then the last three components really have to do with our actions in terms of how it is that we actually practice to play better golf and then actually go out and uh, play the game better once we're on the golf course. So have a look at the six videos below. It will serve as a good introduction to the R3 approach. It will get us beginning with the end in mind in terms of directing our thoughts and actions towards the right things in the right way and at the right time. All Again, it's all about um, having fun with the game, having fun with the process of trying to improve the way we play. Okay, as we always say in the R3 approach, let's continue enjoying our game improvement processes and let's all continue doing good work.